and uh, uh, you know, uh, our willings, we can say, are infinite, but our resources not, unfortunately. Yes. This is why cooperation is our keyword. Uh, we, we must discuss and find a way to cooperate at our best. I'm coming from uh, Riace in uh, uh, Calabria region, where they are preparing the celebrations for the 50 years of uh, the uh, restoration of the Bronzi di Riace. You know, uh, Bronzi di Riace are two wonderful ambassadors of uh, Mediterranean culture all over the world. And uh, the uh, possibility of using the strength given by the, uh, the Bronzi is something which characterize our, uh, our policy in the Mediterranean. Uh, the hope is that the cultural strength will help even the political and the economical strengths in a very complicated scene, especially in this period. So this is why I would like to ask to come here to Mario Di Stefano, under Secretary Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, who is dealing every day with the Mediterranean Sea and its problems. Hello. Hello, good morning. Thank you for this uh, kind uh, invitation today. Thank you for the very nice presentation. And I really would like to to tell the people that have been involved in the restoration week that this kind of interaction between our country and the experts coming from all around the world is fundamental for us and is giving more strength to the, to the Italian uh, cultural heritage uh, system. So ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I am really pleased to be with you today at the headquarters of the Italian Trade Agency for this conference which represents the closing event of the Restoration Week, a tour across some of Italy's most relevant cities when it comes to safeguarding their cultural heritage. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs is fully engaged in supporting this kind of endeavor, and so are both our trade agency and Assoes Tauro, the association representing the Italian company, companies in the restoration sector. And we'd like to thank them both for this gathering of international experts who had the opportunity to meet and deepen the understanding of the latest uh, Italian techniques directly from uh, our and, and enterprises operating in the most important restoration sites of the country. This time around, in fact, the Restoration Week has taken place in the artistic locations that sadly were hit by an earthquake in the summer of 2016, such as those in Amatrice, L'Aquila and Santo Stefano in Sassania. All of the sites listed are part of restoration projects, both creative and environmental ones. As a final destination for the tour, we picked Rome in order to visit timeless, artistic and rigid sites, which are currently undergoing architectural renewal, sustainable reconstruction and all other kinds of qualified intervention by Italian companies specialized in safeguarding of our historical and natural heritage. In the past few days, I believe that all our friends coming from abroad were provided with many interesting occasions to discover successful examples of renovation products. Some accomplished it already, while others are still working for us. We wanted to show you, on one hand, the result of these projects, the quality of it, and on the other hand, the way the quality is attained by our most experienced companies who have long been in the business of restoring beauty and rebuilding value. The competence required to operate in this sector cannot be acquired from one day to another. A whole set of professional skills and very specific know-how must be developed so as to ensure reliability. Italy has grown a significant national tradition in this area, earned throughout the decades 
initially because of our renowned cultural and artistic heritage, which calls for continuous actions and care in order to be preserved and appreciated. Such, such experience has started then to go to the benefit of other countries, where the Made in Italy is supported in terms of expertise and proficiency to get a very skillful job done. This was the case for a number of international projects successfully completed by Italian companies the last few years. From Russia, where they restored the door of Peter the Great in St. Petersburg, to the Turkish mosque of Sheikh Suleiman in Istanbul, to far beyond in the Middle East, in South America, and everywhere ancient beauty is awaiting restoration. To this end, the Italian trade agency Industrial Estado have joined forces with UNESCO as well by means of workshops on the conservation processes of archaeological sites, the upgrading of urban centers, and the latest technological advancement currently being applied in the field, such as sustainable restoration, an exercise for which Italy is renowned around the globe. I am confident that thanks to direct contacts between professionals in this area, visits to building sites, observation of innovative working methods and options sharing, we lay the foundation for a path leading to new partnerships for international projects in those markets where the architectonical, artistic and urban landscape represents an invaluable source of cultural development as well as economic growth. This is a win-win strategy for all state parties involved, for their enterprises and their people. With the profit and services rendered by Italian companies, partner countries can take pride, each one, in its own national treasures, while their citizens may enjoy their cultural to the fullest as they live surrounded by it. In so doing, an economic driven a driver becomes a means of cultural cooperation and vice versa. Culture drives more and more trading services. In a virtuous and sustainable cycle with a positive ripple effect from tourism to job creation and so on. Hence, the reason for the interest and commitment we are taking at the Foreign Affairs Ministry is in integrating the cultural sector within our trade promotion efforts. Since 2020, as the result of a long due institutional restructuring, the Farnesina, as we call the Italian Foreign Office, took over from the Ministry of Economic Development the responsibility to endorse trade relations and to assist Italian companies wishing to open up to foreign markets. Action taken and public support offered in this regard are not limited to trade in gas. On the contrary, the aim at making globally accessible global services that in order to be properly performed come to rely on any professional skills. This happens in many technical sectors beyond commodities and production industries. One sector where the need for Italian expertise is most wanted appears to be linked to our restoration designers and our enterprises specialized in the conservation of cultural and environmental beauties. So, given the widespread and deserved reputation of Italy in the restoration sector, just like in every other area of Italian speciality, and above all the famous 3F, fashion, food and furniture, our government is implementing a great plan for promoting the renovation industry in the world. The project is called the Restoration Made in Italy. It has a few years of duration and is organized in multiple phases some of which take place in Italy while others abroad. It consists of a series of initiatives to encourage the knowledge and use of Italian work in safeguarding the heritage. To achieve this goal, national companies are given support in their paths to internationalization so they may validate the services they offer in foreign markets and not lose any opportunity that should arise. On the, uh, on the one end, from Italian key qualifications, and uh, on the other end, because of the ever-growing cultural demand around the world. Many countries, in fact, 
have now understood the value of their cultural resources and come to see them as a fundamental component of economic growth and development. Unfortunately, because of the pandemics, the calendar of events originally planned in partnership with some of these countries has to be rescheduled. But the Restoration Week ending today represents the best kickoff of the program. Within the legislative framework set up to provide a public response to the current crisis and by acting to establish a synergy between the Italian government and the private sector, we count on achieving a greater degree of internationalization for our companies, especially those in the most promising areas for us, such as the restoration sector. In these years to come, we believe that Italian enterprises will maintain their leadership in the spirit, involving all actors interested in the business of culture, with a reliable guide to bring to, complete, to completion the restoration projects, thus promoting also the quality of the traditions for which Italy is much appreciated worldwide. I am very proud to be here today with you, and I thank you all for your attention. Thanks.